Hello and welcome to On The Sofa. I'm Monia and tonight is all about scarves. So this week I'll be joined for the first time by lovely Lorraine who also works in the art and makeup shop with me. So I study fashion and textiles in Scottish borders and so I naturally love all things fashion. But when Lorraine joined the team at the end of last year, she claimed she was the absolute opposite. She said she knew nothing about fashion or styling and that she was the least creative person it's absolutely true, Monia. I am ashamed to say at 54 years old I did not wear tartan. However, things have changed now. Now I've discovered the pleasure of wearing this fabric. And we're going to show you a lot of our little outfits tonight. So I really do hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy wearing it. You can't stop doing it. You can't. Right? You can't do it. <laughs> Don't even try. <laughs> so tonight we have many different styles of tartan skirts to show you. And Lorraine is going to be our lovely model and stylist to talk us through some of her favourite options for each skirt. So all of our skirts from Scotland Shop are completely sustainable. They are made with care and precision, meaning that your skirt really will last a lifetime, which can only be a good thing for you and for the environment. They're also all made with entirely natural fibres, um, with our beautiful 10 ounce woven wool in the Scottish borders. And because you can choose to have your skirt in over 500 tartans, your options are endless. So you can have your favourite colour or even your clan tartan if you prefer. So because you can have your skirt made for your measurement, your tartan and your style is completely personal and totally unique to you. And there is a lot of Scottish history and Scottish passion that goes into each garment. So each one is totally special and just for you. So our first style, um, which we are both actually wearing just now, is our mini skirt and kilted skirt. So I've got the mini skirt version and Lorraine's got a slightly longer one which we call the kilted skirt. So I'll get out of Lorraine's catwalk. Thank <laughs> you, thank you. So this look this evening, this is something I would wear to work, guys, okay? It's quite casual. The length of this kilt, 21 inches, Monica, right? which for my <clears throat> 54 years, I think is a wee bit more age appropriate. But I just want to draw your attention to the, the movement of these. They're lovely to wear, beautiful to wear. You've got them still with a lovely movement of your pleats. It's a nice length, it's just above the knee. I've got it on, I don't know if you can see, but I've got it on with a pair of sneakers this evening. And I've teamed it off with a little just fine wool um, scarf to match. Now, let's imagine I'm going to pop out after work and maybe go for a drink. Don't want to get too changed. So what you could do, really easy, just wear your scarf a little bit different. Go for more of a drape. You know, you drape it around your shoulders. You could add a little brooch to hold it on if you wanted to. You've got your little heel and your little tote bag here. Got my little bag. I've got my shoes. Monia, I'm ready to go. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Out for drinks after this. Uh, out for drinks after this. As I say, guys, you know, you could put your clan clasp on your shoulder Absolutely. if you wanted to. You wanted to add a like that, a bit of sparkle, a bit of bling. And as I say, for evening, add a pair of earrings. I would even keep the same top, just get my little heels on and my bag. So I've got a day to, day to night look, simply and elegant. And uh, Rebecca, who is watching me live, actually Oh, Did you, Rebecca? I hope you're enjoying wearing it as much as I enjoy wearing mine. So we've also got Kate watching, who is part of our Scotland Shop team. Oh, Hello, Kate. Kate! So a little bit about the kilt. Um, it, when you think of Scotland, then the, the tartan kilt um, is probably what you would first think of. Um, it is a firm favourite, and like Lorraine says, a lot of times it gets bad luck in the pleat, so you can really move, which just looks absolutely lovely. And the kilt also has adjustable straps and buckles and an apron at the front. So you've got the flat front and then the apron at the back. And whereas the men's kilts tend to be worn to the middle of the knee, ladies are less restricted by tradition. So you can have it just at any length you like. So I've got the shorter version and then goes to something a bit longer. So because the fabric is made in Scotland, and as I said, in the Scottish borders, and we have traditional methods, um, It's a well-known style due to its traditional and historic origins, but also because of um, Naomi Campbell, who was actually wearing the kilt when she famously fell 
of the University of Cat Walker Mason Institute in Houston, Texas there. So the rain is now getting changed into her next style, which is the Celtic wrap skirt. And so this is a more modern take on the traditional kilt. And um, again, I've got a picture of it up on the screen there, so you can see the quality of it. So just like our mini kilts and quilted skirts, it does have the two adjustable kilt buckles on the left hip. And the broad waistband that you can see there is actually tucked into bias, which means it's tucked at a 90 degree angle. So it's got a really flattering finish, which is a rain and furry to me now. Um, so the skirt is fully lined, so it's really comfortable. And it's made to a 24 inch length. Um, and maybe versions of this skirt have been seen on um, places like Prada on there. So I actually do have a midday. Fashion. I've got my midday that I wear quite a lot in the shop, which is the slightly yes, longer you do. version. Got the longer version. Which I really like too. I love this. So Lorraine is currently wearing the Stuart Honey Weathered Celtic Wrap skirt. And um, you always tell me that you wear this for a popular lunch, for going out with your granddaughter. If I was maybe going on a nice shopping trip or I was going out with my granddaughter, this is the kind of look I'd go for. Again, I'm wearing sneakers with this, all right? But I just want to point out something, Monia. This is a long line jacket that I would, I would not, I'll be honest, okay, I would not have looked at this jacket. But when I put it on, I felt fantastic in it. I mean, the skirt shorter, shorter it's than I would usually yeah. wear. But I just want to take this off while we take this off, show you the line in here. Beautiful thing, thank you. <laughs> I love my sister. As I say, I've teamed this off again. I like a big, a big sweater. I like a bit of colour. And these bit oversized, got a nice casual look. For me personally, a mini kilt at my age. I know it's hard to believe I'm a grandmother, but yes, I am. At my age, maybe not so, slightly longer. However, with this look, I think because you're getting the A line, you're getting a nice smooth look. It's not overly short. Again, we've got a lovely lining, really comfortable to wear this one, Mona. What I, I've done, mine's is probably sitting round about just the top of the hip. Yeah, if you like to wear yours is slightly I a bit lower, whereas I, I like to wear it a bit more middle because yeah. it's more comfortable for me. A look that I put together, I just want to show you this, folks, because winter is coming. Pardon the Game of Thrones connotation there, but winter is coming. So, look at this, right? So, it's the same outfit, but all we're doing, I want you to imagine nice long brown leather boot, like a riding boot, an ankle boot with a thick tight, and your little beanie hat, which I think just finishes this. Yep. I mean, I'm 54 years old, you know, I feel incredibly comfortable in the fabric, in the tartan, and in the colours. You look stunning, and Thank you really you. pick out the sort of pink stripe in yeah. your jumper, which I always think is a really nice option, no yeah. matter what party you're wearing. Because yeah. I quite like with my wallet kilt, the wearing one on top. Really, yeah. It just brightens it up and it yeah. makes it more fun. It does. Because remember, tartan, it's not all about you. Tartan is a rebellious part. You know, I see myself <laughs> So I hope you like this again, got the pink lining. Yeah, right. Perfect. So Lorraine is now going to get changed into her third outfit, which I think is Statement one of her favourites, and it's the all round pleated skirt. So this I'm one sorry. is just another different take on the kilt. And um, so Emily's got a photo of it on the screen there. It's um, different to the kilt in the fact that it's not got a front apron, so it's got the pleats all the way around as the main. So it is a Scottish style with a bit of a twist. The all round pleated skirt can of course be made in your chosen tartan or just your favourite, your clan tartan. We've got over 500 options. Um, and it can be made to your preferred length as well. So just like our other styles, you can have it shorter or longer depending on how you prefer. So the, the skirt as well, just like our kilt, has traditional pleating. So you're getting the best quality from your kilt there um, and from any of our skirts. And if you are not so keen on the um, strap and buckle fastenings of the kilt, we quite get we get quite often asked in the shop to 
people feel like it adds a bit to their, their hips or to their waist, then the all round pleated skirt actually has a, um, a hidden zip. Um, so another sort of <laughs> thank you. Um, another style of skirt that's very similar to this, and actually the one that we're going to be modelling, is the striped tartan skirt, which actually alternates the pleats with a solid colour and a tartan. But just like the all-round pleated skirt, the pleats go all the way around, so you're not getting the flat apron front like we built. So that's just another option if you want something a bit different and you can of course change your solid colour and your tartan colour to whatever you prefer. So Marie has gone for the Barclay Dress Modern Tartan Pleated Skirt for you to see and she's accessorised that with a black sweater um, and some accessories as her go-to daytime fit. Um, so you can really dress this up and as you can see in Marie's outfit she's really gone for it and been able to be doing bright yellow tartan and so that just depends on whatever you choose so Lorraine in her state outfit this is the, the this is a statement outfit guys because I just want to show you the accessories me personally I'd go the whole way Monia I why would not go, if you're gonna wear an outfit like this you got to wear it, it just says I'm confident, doesn't it? And the sporran bag is so unusual, yeah. so it's a nice little touch. You've got your little sporran bag, freeze your hands off. If it's sort of autumn winter, you don't even need a jacket. No. Because you've got a cashmere mix here, which is really cosy, but the pierce to resistance, if I can just show you, okay, is, this does take a little bit more confidence, I think, <laughs> all right, to get your little hat on. But, for me, this is your statement look. It's stunning. You know, your little skirt. It's almost got a skater feel to the skirt for a younger, a younger girl. I would say you could wear that with the, with those Converse or kind of yeah. thing. Because it's almost got a little skater look about it. But again, for somebody sort of like me, mm -hmm. myself, I think this is a great, I think this is a great look. It is, and I you've got the nice wide pleats. Yeah. So you've got nice pops of tartan, and you can change. You don't have to have black in between it. You can choose your colour to match your tartan. Yeah. And I think with any colour, I mean, I've gone for yellow. Mm -hmm. But if you were a, a, you know, if you have dark hair, if you're a brunette, redhead, I think anybody can do it. Absolutely. Or like, you know, do it in your own tartan. Get your skate skirt done in your own tartan. But if you're not sure of sizes, we can always do a virtual appointment with you. Make sure you're measured up correctly so your outfit looks as good as mine. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so we've got um, a float here that we're going to bring up. So this is just another option. So that's the, the all round pleated again um, with the Stuart black tartan and then black insert pleats. But it's beautiful with just a matching leather jacket and you can make it look a lot more casual than Lorraine's look as well there. So it's a nice option too. Oh. So our next skirt that Lorraine is getting into is our fine pleated skirt. So if you love a pleat but you want something a little bit different, you can see on the screen there we do the fine pleated skirt. So it's a great modern take on the classic. And the skirt can again be made in any tartan and in your preferred length. So this one is also cut and biased, the entire skirt is. So the tartan looks a bit more unusual and then you might be used to seeing it. So it's a great option if you want to change up your tartan plan wardrobe. So for top heavy women as well, this style looks really good as it draws the eye to the, the little waist. And um, the tartan pattern works to balance out your bottom half for a more proportional look as well. So that's always a plus. Although I think it looks great on everyone. I think I think with this, I wish I wish you could hear the movement of this skirt. This is one of the things I love about this skirt when I'm showing it to a customer. If I put it on myself, it, it, just the way it feels. Mm -hmm. This this skirt dances with you. You know, around the around the bottom. It's beautiful. It's got so beautiful. much movement in it. Mm -hmm. And again. This is a look that I obviously sweater, pair of boots, autumn, fall, winter, 
you know, or with a t-shirt and a sandal, maybe sneakers, evening, silk blouse and maybe a gold hand heel mm -hmm. is going to pick up on some of the colours and that, yeah. you know, maybe pop your hair up, a few little bits of fling in there, yeah. you're going to get a really nice evening look. I do believe yeah. Anna wore this very skirt in the Mackenzie tartan at Christmas party. It was the Menzies last Ah, oh, was it Menzies? Yeah. Yes. So Anna has favoured this look as well. It's a great look for any age. It's lovely and it's um, a nice midi length which yeah. I think looks great for a summer barbecue or just for popping out yeah. and about as well just as an evening style. I wish you could see the, I don't know if you can see the boots. Are the boots on the sit down and flat Should we show you yeah. um, with the boot how this looks? Um, so it's not really a high boot I've got on, but it just, I think it just complements the whole look really well, really well. Or be daring and get yourself a sneaker in the same, in the same tartan, yeah. and maybe a little, little denim jacket would go really well for the, for the other colours as well. Beautiful. So we've got another photo I can show you, so just another way to style the jacket there which just looks beautiful and you can add you can do it as a matching tartan or a clashing one like we've got here and that's just a bit more formal as well so that just looks really nice for evening wear with a pair of heels as well so that's great oh so next up is our pencil skirt so our pencil skirt is a tartan take on the classic and it's again got a button and zip fastening at the back as well as a or events so you can still easily walk with it in this style. The skirt is also fully lined um, and the maximum length we can make this one is 28 inches. The pencil skirt is even great for in the office um, and if you're new to tartan then this style is very easy to wear. Because it's such a timeless look you can find examples of tartan pencil skirts on the catwalk from designers such as Miri, Balenciaga and even Victoria Beckham. So you'll be ticking all the fashion boxes wearing this too. Although anyone can wear this skirt and I think it looks great on everyone. And it's particularly great for an hourglass figure as the tailored fit will really accentuate your curves as well. So Rain was originally quite sceptical about trying the pencil skirt because it's not a style she would ever usually go for. But because she went down a size and she added her own touches, she is now on board with the classic in the 100%. Stuart Black tartan. So what have you paired this one with? Well what I've done, I, I like the little peplum because I think it gives it a little 50s feel to it because I like the little frill here and if you've got a, a little bit to maybe disguise there, Not at all. this will do that for you. Or you can even pop a belt, like thick belt round here and give you a real 50s look. Yeah. I've got it with a coat shoe, again pop it on with a boot Pop it on with a sneaker, pop it on with a Doc Martin if you want to. I did not think I would like this look. Mm -hmm. But the good news is, girls, I had to come down a size for this one. So if you want that really kind of pencil, like, very sexy, sexy um, sort of look, you come down a size, come down a size. Really comfortable to wear. Great for the office. Yeah. Great. It's professional, it's smart, and it's versatile. Pop a leather jacket on with this, guys, with a pair of tra pair of sneakers. It looks, it works just as well. Absolutely. You got your yellows in there. Imagine that with maybe a yellow sweater. If you're going to be really brave, yeah. put a yellow tight on. Why not? Exactly. Really go for it. And you Why can, not? You can choose any tartan again in any length, so you can make it as office friendly or as evening wear as you as you like. Or as rebellious as you like. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So Lorraine's also wearing the matching. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see, if you can see I've got a little court, really comfortable court because it's got the block heel on you. Yeah. It's not a stiletto. <laughs> My stiletto days are probably long gone, but this still makes me feel glamorous because I've got a heel, but it's comfortable, it's a comfortable heel because it's high but it's a block heel. Exactly. It reminds me of a little bit more support off my block. Perfect. So we are moving on to our final look of the evening, which is the mini skirt this time. Should we say mini skirt? We don't. Right. So the mini skirt is a style that everyone recognises and we've all worn it in the past. Um, but Lorraine has tried to style hers in a slightly different way to give everyone some ideas on how to dress yours up or down. 
going to different occasions. So our tartan mini skirts are all cut on bias, and you can see that on our Isle of Sky one in the bottom screen there. So this just gives a more exciting look to your favourite tartan. And I've also got the hidden side zip as well, so it's not interrupting your beautiful tartan there with any buckles or any visible zip. So again they're fully lined for comfort and the slightly A-line effect of the mini skirt looks great on more pear-shaped women as the skirt draws attention to your small waist um, but skims over the hips as well. So if you want to hide anything then the mini skirt is a great shape for that as you'll see in the frame. Um, and Emily in our marketing department actually has one in the New York City tartan and Emily agrees with just how versatile it is. She was telling me that she's actually worn it both to Highland Games and then straight away for lunch with the mayor in Florida. So um, Emily just popped on her matching jacket and her sneakers and the look travelled to such different occasions that she looked brilliant in both. So, so you're really not restricted to the mini skirt. Lorraine has chosen the short blue dress tartan mini skirt. Um, and as I said, she's wearing this outfit anywhere from shopping with her girls to even a walk on the beach. Personally, for me, one of the things I really like about this little skirt is you say the word mini. Mm -hmm. Sometimes ladies of a certain age group get really tipped. Oh, can I wear a mini skirt? Mm -hmm. You can if you wear it in the correct way. You can see now, it's not tight. We've no. not got a tight skirt on. I've got a very loose top on. I've teamed it off with one of my, the first things I ever bought in Tartan was this very skirt. My addiction started then. It did. It did. It's, and then, it's only grown. It's only grown. I then moved on to skirts and who knows, soon I think I'll be going to Tesco to the full island crest. So, for me personally, this is a really casual look, but I would wear this in work as well because it's comfortable and we're busy and I've got plenty of movement because again, I've gone oversized. If you want to go fitted for a younger girl, a little fitted t-shirt, even a little cropped, yeah. would work. You know, with maybe a high top or something like that for your daughter or for your granddaughter, or something like that. But for me personally, I think this is probably the look for me, for this length of skirt. Yeah, and you look amazing as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I do like this colour. The sky, that sort of light, light blue, it's, mm -hmm. it's really flattering. It brightens your whole yeah. collection up as well. So that is the end of our tartan looks this evening. So we have a few questions. Um, the first one I think, Louise, you're probably best to answer. Okay. Um, after having worked in the Nautilus mm -hmm. for a number of years, yeah. um, if somebody is new to tartan and they don't want to see too light in the office, um, what would you suggest that they wear? I'd probably, I think, go back to my um, statement look, okay, with the box pleat, because that's splitting the tartan for you. So if you're quite new or you're just really putting your toe in the water, there's a hint of tartan, but there's not too much. Uh, the straight skirt then that I wore earlier, absolutely ideal for an office with a lovely fitted white shirt or a black shirt, yellow shirt, still smart. Yeah. You're going into a meeting. No problem there at all. No you've also got um, quite neutral tartan. Mm -hmm. So you've got things like black watch and Douglas grey. So if you didn't want to go for something light yeah. and bold, we do have a lot of tartans that are more navy and grey. So you can really yeah. keep it neutral while still wearing a bit of tartan. And the hint of a skirt in a, in a black watch or a Douglas grey just looks really like smart. Well. Really yeah. it's smart. It's a nice smart. Smart look for in the office, meet the client, whatever it is. Absolutely. So we also have Lillian in Fife. Hello, Lillian. Who has asked um, if the material that the skirts are made from is washable. So most of our skirts are typically made in um, our 10 ounce lightweight pure wool. So this is dry cleaned only yeah. and we'll just ruin the wool to put it through the washing machine. But if it is really important to Washable, you can do it in toilet paper as well, um, and this can be machine washable, and it's actually been something for a clothing period yeah. as well. So, and um, we can do that as well. You're seeing slightly more limited range of tartans there, but they're still beautiful. So you've got lots of options. 
So we also, again, Lillian is fine, has asked if it's warm enough for winter and cool enough for summer. So absolutely, and we, we both wear yeah. our tartan wool all year round. And because wool is a protein-based fibre made of keratin, which is the same as skin and hair, and it does have a natural ability to help regulate body temperature. So you uh, you can regulate both humidity and temperature so that you move with your changes in body temperature. So it's, it's actually really great year round. It can keep you really cool in the winter mm -hmm. and quite cool in the summer. So, and as well, the same like the mini skirt and our pleated skirt, there's a lot of fabric in them, so it helps you move and it's quite, yeah. I think it's quite freedom. Yeah, there. absolutely. I walk to work, as you know, every day. Absolutely. Um, I walk to work every day in my, my tartan. And it's been quite warm recently, but no, Lillian, I wasn't sweating or anything like that. I was incredibly comfortable. So another question we have is, um, if you're in between sizes, what should you do? That's so, a good question. Maybe yeah. you should answer that one, Monia. <laughs> so I always recommend um, to go for a skirt with maybe buckles on them. Because with the buckles and the, the Celtic wrap and the kilt, you've got room to adjust your waist and your hips. So I quite often, I find that really great with my mini skills that I can get my waist exactly how I like it and then I've still got room in my hips because I, I quite like a bit more movement yeah. in the hips but I like it quite tight on the waist. So I can find that to be a problem with sort of um, sort of high street clothing. Yeah. So that's always great. And if you're struggling, then you can always pop into the shop for a virtual appointment uh, for an uh, in-person appointment or you can do a virtual appointment with us in store as well we can help you with your measurements and help you choose the right size for you so we've got lots of options to make sure you're getting exactly what you like oh, so i think those are all of our questions this evening so thank you for joining us tonight on the sofa we have had so much fun putting together these beautiful <laughs> outfits i think lorraine has had a great time I'm this the best week. Time. <laughs> and we hope we've inspired you to do some of your own tartan styling. So if you are looking for more ideas on how to wear your tartan, then please do follow us on our um, shop Instagram at scotlandshop underscore Edinburgh for new outfits every week. And um, both myself and Lorraine put together outfits and we share what we wear in the shop every day. So that might give you some new ideas as well. Next week, we'll be talking about Curtis Van Campbell and its history and all about the ancestral suite well so a lot of information there if you have any questions please feel free to email us beforehand or just join us live next week and ask then so it's been lovely as always and thank you for joining us on the sofa this week thank you guys rebecca send us a picture on instagram of you and your new kilt that you've made today